Hello and welcome. My name is Kashyap Jagannatha. I'm a senior technical support engineer with Informatica Global Customer Support. This video KB demonstrates how we can determine the PID, the process ID of various Informatica service processes. I'll show you how we can determine the PID of the node Java process and then the admin console Java process and then the various application service process like repository service integration service and then how to determine the power center session process PID. I'm logged into a server these are the processes that we can see from the backend primarily how to determine the PID of the node Java process if you see you can just grep for all the Java process on Unix box and you will see a PID whose parent PID is 1 that will be the node Java process that will be the master gateway node Java process rather the gateway node Java process which will be the parent of rest of all the process how to identify the admin console process if it is a master gateway node there is one more process which is the admin console service process that runs on the master gateway node how to identify the PID of the admin console service process if I do a grab on the admin console I will get the PID of the admin console process and the parent of the admin console process would be nothing but the node Java process. Now how to determine the PID of the application service process like uh, the repository service or integration service. For that let's log into the admin console of any server. Here we are in the admin console going to the logs tab. There we have an option. Right click on the timestamp column here we have an option to include the process so this will include the PID of each of the application service process you can just select click on the service select anything click go If you include the process here you can see the PID and going to the session process how we can determine the PID of an Informatica session process which is the PMDTM process. Log into any workflow monitor open any workflow log if you see the workflow log you will see this message started a process with PID on node and there is a task instance so for every task which is a session task or any other task you can see the PID so with this we can identify the PID of the session process forked by the integration service the summary of this video KB can also be found in the KB articles 148441 and 31655 thank you for watching this video KB we would love to hear from you in case of any feedback. Feel free to email us at supportvideos at .com. You can also tweet us at infasupport. Thank you.